Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome back to This is the Police. Um, a lot of our cops have been dying, a lot of civilians have been dying, and our budget's been reduced to the point that we can barely cover any crime, but it's going so well right now. So well. It's gonna work. Oh, hello. Looking out the window. That's cool. And? My morning ritual was plagued by the smell of Vicus Vargas' fruity cologne. It was like the sharp citrus scent was chasing me around the house, as if Vicus was right there in my living room. When I finally realized the smell was coming from a big basket of oranges, it didn't put me any more at ease. I'd opened my door to lots of threatening mail, evidence of criminal wrongdoing, even a dead ferret or two. But fruit? Never. Okay. You the fruit guy? Excuse me? Was it you that brought the basket of oranges? Nah, it was here when I arrived. Fine. Okay. So who are you? Today, I'm your driver. And uh, where are we driving? To work. That's it? Yeah, we have to make an important stop along the way. Where? The ranch. What ranch? Just the ranch. Fine. How am I going to get back if I don't take my car? The morning seemed surreal, we'll and I took in the magic. Why wreck it with meaningless chatter? As my tight-lipped chauffeur drove an hour through God knows where, I'm gonna be I started to feel like I was in the middle of a bad dream, probably lying bloody and concussed in the alley behind the old colony club, my nose buried in a rotten orange peel. But no, this was no dream. The silence was real. The sound of the engine was real. The dust was real enough, too. And there was the ranch over the horizon. It all seemed familiar. The Sand family's overbearing mansion has been the talk of the headlines for decades, but few have managed to get closer than a few miles. I guess I'm just lucky. Uh-oh. I didn't know you took private meetings, Mr. Sand. Only if I expect good company. I'm surprised my company ranks at all. Okay. Today, yes. Today is a special day. So it seems. Do you often go to the old colony club, Jack? Every week. Meet any interesting people there? As a rule, no. Sometimes you make a date, right? Sometimes make new friends. Sometimes, I guess. But that's not why I go. And why? I consider it a hobby. Hmm. A hobby. Do you know anything about my hobbies? Well, judging by the half dozen animal skins I stepped on walking over here, it's not much of a reach to say you like hunting. Love it. Well, I say that now. It seemed so tedious when I was a child. Took ever so long. But now I'm older. I've developed a new talent. What talent is that? Patience. The will to wait for the right moment. Let's say you want a deer. You know, you deserve it. You've even decided what dishes its meat will go to and where you'll mount its horns. But to get that deer, you've got to wait. To sit in the bushes and stay nice and quiet. Professional hunters will tell you that the hunt is a rare craft. There are many rules. It's shrouded in mystery and ancient skill. Well, that's all complete nonsense. To get a deer, you just sit on the sidelines for a long enough time, pinpoint the moment when it's finally time to shoot. I learned the talent, Jack. But not like you, oh, Jack. You truly are the master. I don't understand. Oh, come on, Jack. I know about the half million. I know your plan. Kendrick told me everything. Needless to say, I'm impressed. While some people oh, learn dear. to hold their breath for minutes on end and not to rustle the leaves too loudly, why you decided to just become the foliage. 
you turned yourself into a bush, surrounded by deer who've been so fruitfully multiplying for decades. But all this time you've held your rifle at the ready. Uh, forgive an old man his imagery, Jack. I have the heart of a poet, I confess. Look, I don't know what was said between you and Kendrick, but it sounds like you got it wrong. Oh, I think I understand everything just fine. And I think we understand each other quite well. Jack, in the coming war, we'll make excellent partners. What war? One war falls upon every generation. My grandfather drove out the Ambersons back when he was 27. My father destroyed that psychopath gangster, Boris Bell, when he was a sprightly 30. At 69, I'd begun to think my war had passed me over. But my time has come at last. Work needs more cops. Tomorrow, Vicus Varga declares war, and I'm obliged to answer. We need more cops. So, we're talking about Varga now. I don't know how he thinks. I don't even know whether he plans his actions or not. I can't divine his purpose. Hell, I don't even know where he comes from. He's a man not of our breed, wouldn't you say? But when he arrived here, I invited him in, told him we could work together. An official invitation penned in my own hand and written on some very expensive paper. And can you imagine his reply? A fruit basket. What sense can be made of such a message? I guess it means whatever you want it to. Precisely. I'm late for work, Mr. Sand. You know, Jack, I could just give you half a million right now. Cash, whatever denominations you like. But I would never insult you so. If I went stalking my prey for so many years, I wouldn't want someone else to shoot it for me. I understand you, Jack. And I'll never ask you for anything that's contrary to your nature. Just give me half a million. Just think about our conversation. Think about it. And call me. Half a million. Got that, man. Like I said, it's a whole new life, and I've had to give up some old habits. One of them, keeping away from things that don't concern me. Now I can't afford the luxury. This spotlight I'm under? Concerns is all I got. Can I just say neither for the moment? I... <sighs> The thing is, right, I'm going to move my cursor away so I don't accidentally pick. The thing is, Varga is painted as, you know, he's dangerous because we don't know anything about him, and uh, he's done, like, robberies that no one expected, killed the unkillable, etc., blah, blah, blah. Well, the problem is Sand is well known for, by the way, I will kill your entire family if you go against me. And he brought me in this morning because he was worried about Varga, because he knew that Varga talked to me last night. So anything he said today... It's basically discounted. Because anything he said today was just to keep me on side. The problem is, I would need to talk to Varga more before I made this decision. I think it's a bit unfair giving me this decision right now. I don't care right now. I will make this decision later on when, like, an actual choice pops up. Currently, I don't actually have a choice, as far as I'm aware. But... I'm gonna help Varga just because, so far... Sand has been quiet, but pretty damn threatening. And he got loads of information out of Kendrick that I'm just, like, not happy about him having hold of. Um, and partly because he felt the need to bring me in and then play buddy-buddy after he'd been so threatening. And I just, I see that as a... He tried to manipulate me, and I'm not sure what his agenda is. I don't know what Varg's agenda is, though, to be fair, either, but he just seems like a normal gangster. It's a stupid choice picking the one I don't know, but... I mean, better the devil you know, right? I didn't. Sun Tzu would have my head. Tell him it's Boyd. Looks like the janitor hasn't been around to clean the toilets today. I don't know about you, but I care about my cleanliness and my inmates. Can I go? What? No. 
It's the worst excuse. <sighs> okay. Uh, note that Purdy, because she did yesterday and now she's doing today, is one fatigued. Namuta, who we just hired, is too fatigued. Sanu. Oh, we must have got you transferred to a different division. That's why you start, like, at a sergeant rank. Or whatever that is. Um, yeah, cool. Start the day. Oh, they're cutting the budget again? Oh, for God's sake. It's because I keep losing all these... <sighs> I really should cut the 180 here, Beasley. But then I have to move people between shifts. So I'm just going to cut to Brito. He is older as well. Warning, snitch. I'm pretty sure your staff is preparing a plot against you. <gasps> Thank you, snitch. Tomorrow's the day for the hero. Don't let anything happen to him. Who Who was the hero? Salary. Right, let's look at affairs. City Hall. No... Okay, police station, backlog. Edward Vasily. He's at home right now, so that's fine. Okay, I need to find out who in my, like, staff is preparing a thing against me. Um, deputy. I can't hire another sti uh, stitch. Okay, let's, let's send people for... Training. Um, Koshi can go for training. Cool. Let's just buy a barbecue. Try and get some people on side. Seems like a good idea. Uh, that seems decent enough. Okay. Let's hopefully have a nice quiet day. Nothing crazy. Massive fight. Cool from club manager said that a brawl had broken out in the main hall involving 20 men. Security are keeping back because the combatants are carrying knives. Several wounded already lying on the dance floor, but no one knows why the mayhem broke out. I can send a paddy wagon, which I don't have. Swat. Uh, everyone. Just everyone out there. I'm going to regret this, but all hands on deck. If you've got 20 people and some of them are carrying knives, it's really tough because you don't know which ones are carrying knives at first glance. So we we can need swap for this. We don't have enough people to contain, you know, 20 men having a fight. I don't have reinforcements. I could retreat. I want to refuse. Defenders caught, officer unharmed, civilians. Yeah! Oh, nice! Okay, hopefully we'll be back in time for the assault. We haven't got SWAT now, though. The only reason we really got through that was because of SWAT. I keep spending my retirement money. Arrgh. Come on. Two teens walking a dog got into an argument, and eventually one of them unleashed the dog on the other. The police were called by a girl who was riding a bicycle nearby. Uh, yeah, let's send. You two. Because you're like a high rank, you should be able to pluck Kendrill a little bit. And you're all above average. It doesn't seem too serious. Homicide. Ooh. A bearded man in a hat entered the confession, then a few minutes later I heard gunshots, and the man calmly left the booth, took off his hat, and crossed himself, sitting on the pew. I think he's praying. We don't have SWAT, but I'm going to send our four best officers. Again, we're out of officers. This is not good. Gulp. And... Boy, struggling on the ground, barely holding off an angry dog that's trying to put... Uh, trying to grab him by the throat. Hit the dog with a taser. Fire shots in the air. Pull on the dog's collar. Hit the dog with a taser. Dog lets the boy escape and its owner starts to flee. Uh, borrow the girl's bicycle? Eh. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, like, no one told me how old this girl is. Like, it could be a tiny little bicycle. Um, I'm just gonna run after him. Good. Nice. I don't want to say it, but so far it's going okay. 
Yeah. Loot found non-automatic weapon. What, what is that? What, 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 what do I do with this loot? Oh, ask the mafia to sell it or bring it to the police station. How much does it sell for? I'll ask them to sell it. Attempt me murder. Linda howled, her words slurred, so that the dentist paralyzed her face during the last visit. The monster stuck me with some kind of poison. Arrest him! Oh. It's not attempted murder. It's someone just got a little bit, like, too much, you know, sedative in the side of the mouth, and he's now like, oh my god, he tried to kill me, when actually it's just, you know, sedative. A anesthetic, not sedative. Sedative puts you to sleep. Anesthetic is the one. Uh, I'm going to send two cops. Just two. Just in case. I never really send one just in case because that can result in the one being killed if it is something dodgy. I tend to think it might be better to ignore than just send one sometimes. She was in digital normal painkillers. Yeah, false alarm. Yeah. Terrorism. And as Convener noticed a suspicious black bag which had been lying unsupervised on the bench. Ah, okay, so it, it's probably just a black bag, but unfortunately we have to take precautions. I'm going to wait for everyone to get back, and I think I'll probably send everyone out. It is close. Oh, I could just send... Just send four, but the problem is there is SWAT as well. I'm going to send just four. It's probably just a black bag. The idea would be just clear the area and then have, like, a bomb squad go in. But obviously we don't have bomb squad. So just send in the rookie. Send in the lowest ranked person. Numata, you're new here. Numata? Numata. It's your job. You can open the bomb. It's probably not a bomb. Maybe. Looks like we have a situation here. There's something moving inside the bag. Shoot the bag till it stops moving. Stay back until the bomb squad arrives. We're going to open the bag, sure. Fender caught, officer unharmed, student unharmed. So moving, I was like, it's probably like a dog or something. That was a good day. That was a good day. That was a legit good day. Thankfully. But we had to fire someone, which makes you really unhappy. Yeah, you're fairly tired. Okay. Now, I'm a bit worried. We have kind of crossed Thans. Corn monument to be demolished by summer's end. Francis Kendrick won't succeed. Jack Boyd. Uh, yeah, he's not here anymore. Uh, city administration to finance a dance festival. Mmm. Okay, now I'm a bit, I'm a bit concerned about what's going to happen now. We, we technically have crossed sand and agreed to this random gangster, Varga, that we don't know anything about. Um, they're still really shot on officers. Uh having issues with a lot of other things. Um, I suspect that our SWAT team aren't as powerful as they really maybe could be right now. We missed out on the chance to get a paddy wagon, which is really annoying because that would really help in situations where we can send a paddy wagon. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's not great. We have, on the other hand, 35 grand on the savings account. We did have 42 and I had to spend some of it. But there is the possibility that uh, some of our officers are going to tattle on us. I say that like, like oh yeah, they're they're gonna tell that we uh, we were we bunked off school or something. No, we we were complicit in multiple homicides. Um, so that's not necessarily a good thing. So we'll see where that goes. We might need to end up sending them to uh, a crime that's fake, which would be problematic. Uh, but I've been Ashley Sim. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And until next time, just remember to stay shiny. And don't do crime, kids. It does not pay.